Hey everybody, it is Margaret, Texas Gal Treasures, and I am coming to you today with a video all about jewelry jars. So I have heard in a lot of the different groups that jewelry jars are such a waste of money, I can't believe people would buy them, and so I thought I would come on today and do a two-parter, well, but in one video, uh, uh, are jewelry jars worth it, can you make your money back? And do a double unboxing of a jewelry jar or two. This one because it's not very big. Well, it's a big jar, but they didn't fill it up. So to answer the question, are jewelry jars worth it? In my opinion, they can be. If you go about buying them in the right way. So when you come across a jewelry jar, and yes, I know that a lot of um, places you can't find them, and I'll get to that in just a second. Um, when you come across a jewelry jar, the first thing that you've got to do is make sure that you see something inside that will make you your money back. So this jar cost me $14.99, and so I had to make sure that there was something in this jar that would make my money back before I bought it. So I did, and I'll show you in a minute what that was. Same deal here. You may ask yourself, Margaret, that jar is not full. <laughs> Why did you buy it? Because... <laughs> Um, I felt like there was something in the jar that I could get my $14.99 back on. Now, this, this, the one caveat of this is sometimes you get in that jonesing, <laughs> where you're jonesing for it. It's almost like a gambling thing. And you might find a jar and you haven't seen one in so long, you haven't bought one in so long, and you just buy it anyway. So just be careful if that is the, the case. Now, if you don't have jewelry jars in your area, there are jewelry lots that you can buy off of eBay. So I've never done that. Um, pardon me. Of course, I didn't mute the phone. Um, so on eBay, there are lots of sellers that sell jewelry lots. And I guess the big question of the jump, the push for me is, how do I know what to buy, right? How do I know which ones are good, which ones are not so good, or are there sellers that are really good? Um, so that is something that in my jewelry group, Jewelry Lovers and Sellers, we are going to be diving into starting next week. And we actually have a number of people in our group that are really good at buying jewelry lots off of eBay and finding gold and silver and high-end costume jewelry to resell or to repurpose. So uh, if you're interested, go over and join jewelry lovers and sellers that'll be my little plug for the group it's super cheap it's five dollars a month and we learn lots of things every month there's a different thing so anyway this this month is Bakelite and we got another friend coming over for that this month but anyway let's jump into the jewelry jars and um, so do I think they're worth it I think they can be I have definitely made money off of them and I'm going to do a screenshot of some of my sales on Etsy I didn't pull up eBay because it only goes back so far um, so I'll show you that, but I want to know too, I know I've got some friends here live, hello everybody watching live, um, that I want to know what your experiences are with jewelry, whether you have bought a jewelry jar, was it a flop, why was it a flop, did you buy a jar and you found something amazing, or maybe you bought a, a lot off of eBay or Etsy and found some amazing stuff, or again was just totally disappointed. I want to know what your experiences are, so if you're here live, let me know, if not, uh, leave me a comment down below and let me know what your experiences are with jars or lots of jewelry and selling them. So here we go. Jones and for jewelry, Diane says, it's been a while since I've done a jar video, right? It's been a while. Um, I'm going to say hey in the chat and then I'm going to screen share. Hi, Tracy and Cheryl. Hi. Um, Clarence Ninja, change your name to follow when. Hello, Ray and Brenda. Hello, Desert Ring Girls and Bethy. Good morning. Okay. Ooh, I'll have to check that out. Thank you for sending me that link. I haven't, I haven't checked my uh, email today. Okay, so here are some solds. Uh, not all of these are from jars, but I will tell you which ones are. So this spider web cuff right here, this was from a jewelry jar, and it sold on Etsy for 25 bucks. So if this was something that I pulled out of a $15 jar, boom, I made my money back quickly. Um, this Ocean Life bracelet is also something I pulled from a jar, sold for $17.99. Um, this is what I did with some of the pieces that I wasn't going to sell um, by themselves, and there are totally stuff. There, there were necklaces in here that could have been sold um, on their own. So this was thirty bucks for a lot of stuff that I um, just sold like so. Same thing here. This was. 
just pieces that I, I took to the side, like broken bits. This one was like broken pieces or hair clips or just random bits that I wasn't going to break apart to sell. So this lot sold for 25 bucks. Um, let's see what else was in a jar here. This was, I think this one was in a jar, this butterfly right here, $20. Uh, let's see. Nope, nope, nope. Uh, I can't remember. I think this one was, this one for sure was this Dr. Symbol necklace, $17.99. That was from a jar. This big elephant was in a jar. The sea was in a jar. So you can see if you are, I'm trying to look, see if I see any more right off the bat that were in a jar. Um, if you're smart with it, you can absolutely make your money back from buying a you think that the five sisters was i remember when it was on a haul sometimes it's hard for me to remember but that one sold really quick the little five sisters pin so yeah sure you'll find stuff in a jar and i have a ton still piled up over here that you know i'm, I'm lotting up or i'm going to be selling solo or you know just i have a lot <laughs> but uh, you can definitely make your money back quickly. And I have found gold. I have found silver. And Maggie actually found a jar, sent it to me, and there was gold in it. It's like, girl. <laughs> I didn't say that to her. I said, girl. So let me send this back to you. But we worked out a deal. So Okay, so I'm going to dig into these jars. I have my two jars here. Oh, I was going to show you why I bought them. I've got a tray on my table. Um, so this jar, the reason I bought it, was there are some cufflinks down there and as you know I love selling cufflinks and even like just like meh cufflinks generally I start at $9.99 and these ones are in the shape of a grand piano so I thought they would be really cool they might go for more like $17.99 um, and then a lot of times men's accessories are overlooked um, because and they could be gold they could be silver but frequently they're overlooked because a lot of times they, you know, the workers that are making the jars or even at garage sales, they're just, they don't, I don't know, like when you try to think about or when one thinks about jewelry, generally they don't think about men's accessories being um, gold or silver. So, okay, good, good, good. Thank you. Thank you. Um, kept, yeah, some of, some people are saying that a lot of times now the Goodwills, instead of doing jars, they're sending it to their Goodwill online. I used to do those auctions. And sometimes you think you're getting a really good deal, and then the shipping is like outrageous. <laughs> I mean, they're totally making a ton of money off, off of shipping for sure. Um, Catherine says she bought 40 rings on eBay for 21 bucks. Got some silver and good pieces that I'm listing now. Jewelry jars can be okay, but sometimes too much money. Yeah. And there for a while, the ones in my area really jacked the prices up, but then they they came back down. So Cheryl says, Etsy or eBay, how do I decide? Okay, so I I cross post as much as I can. If it's not vintage, I cannot put it on Etsy. Or if it's not something that could be considered a supply. So like that one lot that um, was just, there was like a flower in it and there were some modern things in there, but because I could list it as um, supplies, because there were some broken pieces of jewelry, let's say you've got a a broken lot, you know, or they're missing stones or things like that, and you're putting them up, not to sell as jewelry, but you're putting them up to sell as a supply to repurpose, then you can sell them on Etsy that way. Yeah. I feel like I'm talking really loud, you guys. Let me know. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so I'm looking in the chat again for some, Brenda says, when she worked at Goodwill, um, they tested and kept all the good stuff and put the rest in the jar. Yep, yep. Um, Beth says she bought a couple of lots on eBay this week and some are really, it has some really nice pieces. Good, good, good. Okay. Let me see. Oh, thanks. Yeah. I had a good chat with Rakin the other day and, oh, Brenda says she felt like they were scamming. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to dump this one. I showed you why I bought this one. So I'll dump it and I have another jar. Uh, I'm leaving it this, this one, obviously you saw it, but, um, I'll leave it to the side and open it. Let me see how long this one takes. I'm I'm popping it open here. Come on, Tate. So yeah, I, did, I had a really nice talk with Steve the other day. If you guys don't know, I'm doing that. I create well for myself. I created this 365 day challenge, and it's going pretty well. I got sick, so one day was kind of like, Ey. okay. So here goes. I'm dumping it. I haven't done this in a while, but I see something cool already. Another thing too, as I'm talking to the side of you, uh, another thing is a lot of times the thrift stores don't recognize like vintage plastics like Bakelite and things. 
So not that I found any in jars, but it's something that you could keep an eye out for. All right, so here it is. I'm going to just pick up one at a time. So two things that I definitely have when I'm going through jars is my magnet, and I can never say the right name for the magnet. I can't. <laughs> and also, it's, a really, it's not just like a refrigerator magnet. It's really strong. And my loop, and this is the loop I've got, 30 by 21. And I have a link down below for these type of things. Um, because I also, you know, when I find gold and silver, I, I started testing myself instead of taking it to a jeweler. So, yeah. Um, oh, thanks, Chantel. Okay, so starting off, we have a watch. And as you can see, sometimes when things don't sell, they pop it in a jar and get rid of it that way. So let's see. I feel like I'm, a, I'm unveiling what's the watch. I can tell there's a picture on it. It looks like it might be. <laughs> it is a Justin Bieber watch, it looks like, in there. So I think it probably just needs a battery, but I'm sure. Is that Justin Bieber? <laughs> is it? Maybe it is. I think it is. <laughs> I, don't, I know him, but I don't know him. You know what I mean? Maybe it's not. Oh, it is. I think it says Bieber fever. So Bieber fever. <laughs> but you know, like I say, I've, I've I've sold things that I was on a dare to myself. Like I bet I can't sell that. There was like this plastic red, white, and blue stretchy um, bracelet that was like red, white, and blue plastic beads, and then there was like this um, American flag, just little metal. And it didn't look like super fancy or anything. And I think I sold that for like $12.99. So that just showed me. And then I, I sold some plastic pink beads. They were like that Harlequin's shape, you know, where it's like, like, so yeah, same, same deal. I was like, I wonder if I can sell these plastic beads. So I'm challenging myself to sell this Bieber watch. Okay. So here's another watch. Again, I don't know a ton about watches, but they are in my on my to-do list coming up. So there's this watch there. So let me, let me grab all the watches to start with. This one's kind of cool. So it's got a lightning bolt coming out of a cloud and it looks like it also has, you know, the date that you can set to the side over there. And I'm going to get my loop so I can read the tiny little words down there. <laughs> Hi everybody. Hello, hello. It says Swiss made by Cerro Ag. So I don't know what that is, but Swiss made is generally good. Um, <laughs> from what I know, I'm, I'm pushing the, the tag off the back to see if I see anything else. But it's not something I am uh, familiar with on this watch. So it says Switzerland Holstein made by Saros AG. So that is something I will definitely have to look up. That's pretty cool. Let's see if the strap is leather. Yep, the strap is, let's see, cow. I can't read it backwards, Joe. No, no, it doesn't say that. It is, it's not in English. So that's why I can't read it. But I'm betting it's saying cow or genuine leather or cow leather is my guess. So I'm going to have to look that up. That is cool. If one of my friends in the chat wants to look it up for me, S-A-R-O-S -S and then space A-G. And it's in pretty nice shape. So there you go. That, and this is the thing too. The the thrift stores don't know everything. So they might let something slip through. So here's another one. Um, it's missing a stone. Let me just pop all the watches up here real fast. And then here's another. This is an Avenue watch. It's in really nice shape though, right? So even though it's, you know, Avenue brand, it's in nice shape and who knows, somebody might look at it. Oh no, it's not, it's missing some stones, darn. So it will probably go into a watch lot that I create. So, but who was it? Okay, and I always say the wrong person, but one of our friends in the group will take watches apart and pull the springs and stuff out, like broken watches and things or just cheapy ones. They'll pull out all the springs and all of the bits from the inside and make a uh, steampunk lot and sell on eBay and Etsy. So you could totally do that too. Like, oh, I don't want to do a, a watch lot. It'll be cheapy. Blech. So just pull out all the bits. If it's got springs and wires and little cool gears and doodads that a uh, steampunk person might want to use to create something else. So there's always a way. All right, here is a really cute little stretchy bracelet that has, uh, they kind of look like snowflakes, but this will probably end up in a lot, even though it's really pretty. It's cute, cute, cute. So and then here we go with these, some, I, I like bangles a lot. So um, I did create 
a Bengal lot, like a Bengal bracelet lot. I think it's on eBay if it hasn't sold already. And then I made another bracelet lot that was like stretchy bracelets and other kinds of bracelets. So, so far there's a maybe on making the money back with this, with this watch. Because all I'm really trying to make back now is 15 bucks. And then everything else after that is profit. So then now we have this. It looks like those seeds, but it's not. It's just these plastic black beads that look like stone. And then there is the clasp. Just a normal clasp. Yeah, I'll probably try to sell that by itself because it's not the normal just black beads. So um, when I list this, it'll probably go up between $14.99, $17.99, somewhere in there. Now, will it sell quickly? I don't know. Okay, then we have a wine stopper. That's another thing I bought. In a, I got a jewelry jar, and it had these napkin rings. There were six, maybe five. I think it was missing one. And they were these gold tone napkin rings that were like, they looked like bamboo, but they were gold. They were really heavy. And, and they sold for really good money, and they were in a jar. So sometimes it's not even jewelry that's in the jar. So there's that wine stopper. Do people buy used wine stoppers? I don't know. But it's cool. It's really like industrial and minimalist, like... Hmm. Anyway, <laughs> that's frightening. And then I oh cool. Okay, come here. I see a necklace that I'm trying to untangle. This is the only reason I wish I had done this or pulled it out before. This I will for sure sell. Look, it is little cherries, like so, that have these white lines on them. It's a necklace, like there. Um, and I, I already no, it's not going to be silver, but this is how I test. I'll check with my magnet. If it is magnetic, then it's not going to be sterling silver. So there's that. So this eye, I'll have to see. There may be a lot of things kind of like this up. I don't see a maker's. Oh, yeah, I do. Oh, yeah, I do. Uh, J-R-I. Is that an L or an I? J-R-I. So I'll have to look that up. Or is it a P? No, it's JP. JPI. I don't know what that stands for. Keyword pin up with cherries. Oh, yes, thank you. So it is marked KPI. No, no, it was JPI. <laughs> look at me. Yeah, JPI. So I will have to look that up because it might be a brand that is desirable. There we go. Let's see. Brenda says, I want to find was cool. We found a cheap necklace, but the class was 10 karat gold or something like that. It was weird. Okay, so there's that. Uh, next up is another, it's the same style, like so. But this is, at first you would think it was an earring maybe to match, but it's not. Look at the point on that. So this is like a lapel pin with the cherries. Isn't that awesome? Very, very cool. Uh, okay, and here's the, this may be the backing for it. It's in there. It's in there. Okay, so next up, let's see what I'm going to pull out. Oh, this is really pretty. Hang on, let me get it straight for you. There is this necklace. It's got these, I don't know if it's registering, they're kind of this pale pink, hello, hello. Neville says, I have a cherry pendant, no chain. Ah, oh, cool, maybe you can find a chain to put it on. A chain, is that right? Yeah, okay. So yeah, there's this, it's like mixed media, it's got like this rose fabric, pale pink, and then that's kind of a green. I don't see any missing stones. Nope, no missing stones. And then the ribbon, let's see if we've got a maker's mark on it. But this I will sell. This is, I'm looking for a mark for you. I don't see any maker's marks. But this will go up. It's really, it's got like romantic and mixed media, et cetera, et cetera, as far as keywords go. So this probably in the 17 to 19.99 range, I think we're going to make our money back, even if we don't find gold. All right, this is, all right, here we go. Next up is this 24 karat gold plated necklace. It looks like the um, the kind that that is like a birthstone one where you put all the kids' birthstones on it, but I don't know that it is because it's got so many. But it's really pretty. Um, just because something is gold plate doesn't mean that it's going to be worth anything more than regular costume jewelry unfortunately but I will probably put this in a lot just one because it's I mean here's the clasp it's just this sort of hook I mean just a little hook type of clasp 
So this will probably go into a lot. Um, but the sparkles may draw in some buyers, so that's cool. Cool, cool. Uh, let's see. Here is a pair of earrings I can share with you. Hang on. What is going on with these earrings? This makes no sense to me. I don't know that this is how these go. Okay, so here are these earrings. I don't want to lift the clasp up because there are some... Oh, okay. They do go down. I couldn't get them to go down a second ago. Now this makes more sense. <laughs> oh, cool. Okay. So here we go. There are these. This kind of navy blue square on top, or not square, rectangle on top of rectangle. And they are marked with this little LC, like so. And again, if you are in jewelry lovers and sellers, you would know if this is the week I put this out. Um, we've been talking about different costume jewelry marks and creating spread or sheets for it to learn them. And this one is a Liz Claiborne. So some Liz Claiborne earrings. They may not go for a ton, but I mean, maybe 10 bucks. They're a nice shape. Got both of them there. Catherine says, love cherries. I have a necklace with plastic cherries are fun collectible. Oh yeah, totally. And I haven't seen any quite like this before with those white lines on them. I haven't seen that before. That's new to me. Okay, let's see what else we've got. Oh, I see some other stuff. These are kind of cool. Ooh. Okay, so these I for sure will sell. These are like these tribal sun, almost pewter looking. They're probably not pewter though. Um, but listen to them. They sound okay. <laughs> you know how it sounds. Uh, and then they've got this purple stone, but I could really see someone who's into like horoscopes and I don't know, things like that, right? Like a gypsy. They're not me now. <laughs> but they're really cool. So yeah, these ones I for sure will put up. Let's see if they've got a maker's mark. I don't see one. Not on that one anyway. Uh, nope. But yeah, I, I would probably put these up for $19.99 or more. Cherries for Christmas. Okay, Boho Gypsy, Kathleen says. Yes, yes. So very cool. The sunburst is very cool. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So I will be looking into some more. Oh, kind of Western looking too. It's true. They kind of look like spurs right there, right? A little bit spurs. That's true. Good, another good keyword. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. So yeah, probably going up in the 1999 mark because those are awesome. All right. Next up, I'm trying to find some without having to detangle too much. Um, got some more bangles here. We'll probably put those in a lot. Uh, nothing that's gold or silver there. Um, that's okay. Still. So, all right. Next. Hang on. Are you tangled up or do you belong? I don't think you belong. All right, we've got a, it's sort of a smoky topaz almost, but they're not, they're not totally clear. Um, plastic necklace. This will probably end up in a lot as well. It's kind of scratched up. And that's okay too. Okay. And then we have some, now these are vintage earrings with uh, probably rhinestones in there. I can't tell, but they are screw back. Ah, like so, screw back earrings, and I don't see any marks on them. If you can see right here, the like silver plating has already chipped away on these earrings, but that's, I mean, if somebody likes the style of them, then they will buy them anyway. So I probably won't put them up for too much. Some of the stones are not as bright as others. So, pro I mean, probably in that $10 range for these. Still gonna sell them. And then we've got this little, looks like a little angel that somebody made with beads and little wings. It's cute. And the chain, there's no marks. It looks like a child's necklace. It's really small. But we've had this discussion before. If you've been here when we discussed neck measurements, I don't know if you remember that. But okay, there's that one. Very cute. Um, this will probably go in a lot. I don't think I'm gonna sell this one. And then Let's see. We have this necklace, which is very dainty, romantic, kind of feminine. I, I like it personally. Just the kind of light feminine look. 1928. There are people that like this brand. Let me see if I can hold this up for you. Come on now. Can you see that? It's written 1928 in this sort of deco, art deco style font. So this will I will sell because there are people that like this brand a lot. 
And that explains why it's got that sort of romantic, feminine look to it. Yeah. All right, here's another one. This will, hmm, maybe I'll sell this one. Hmm, maybe not. Okay, so I don't think I'm going to sell this one. Some of the beads in the front are not as, like you can see the shine on these ones off to the side. And I don't know if you can tell, but the ones in the front, that shine is not there like it is on the ones on the side. So this will probably just end up in a beaded necklace slot as well. But that's okay. That's all right. This one's very unique. So this one for sure I will. If it's, oh, it's broken. Curses. But it's cool. I can fix it. So look, it's got this. They're plastic, but they've got this carved frosted glass look, you know, etched rather, or etched. But they're they're plastic beads. But they're it's really cool. I could see somebody really liking this. So it wouldn't be too hard to fix because here's what's happened to the clasp. It wouldn't be too hard to get a new clasp on there, but I know myself. So this will certainly end up in a lot. Somebody will love it and pull it apart and make other stuff with it. And again, this I made a lot recently with just like shell and wood jewelry. So this will probably end up in a lot like that. This is kind of a longer one than I'm accustomed to getting. Bonus hair. We'll just set that right down there. Again, um, you know, I made a, a lot, but I had shells and wood pieces, like really more organic stuff. Um, and that one did okay. I think that was one, one of the ones I had sold. Wood and shells and, and things that were organic. Like I say, hemp, kind of like rope stuff. Yeah. Uh, so here we've got another one that has the... I always forget what this kind of bead is called. That's the clay. Oh, my gosh. I can never... I can't keep all the words in my brain, and that's okay. I can't. I feel like I'm saying that's okay a lot. <laughs> all right, so here's this one probably going to go in a lot as well. And next up, this one's really pretty. It's got these purpley, they're really dark purple and a light purple beads. Polymer clay, that's what it's called. Thank you, Kathleen. <laughs> that's what it is. So this one I may try to sell. It's really dainty and feminine. I like that chain a lot. So this one, again, it probably won't go for a lot. Probably $12.99, $14.99. But those deep purple beads might be what sells it. Right? Goth or something like that. And then some more plastic black beads. These are graduated. <laughs> this time I'm remembering the word for it. Graduated beads that get bigger as they go. And it's really long. So I may, I may try to sell this one. Put this over my neck right here, right there. All right, you know it's big because I have a big head. <laughs> and then this one, I may actually try to sell this one. Um, it has got these shell beads, but then it also has spikes on it. So it's pretty masculine. However, some of the girls like to put on their, their tough jewelry, you know. There we go. Hey, Monica, hello, hello. So there's that. Um, again... Thanks, everybody, for coming to join. Hit that thumbs up over there. And if you haven't already, share your experiences buying jewelry jars or jewelry lots off of eBay or Etsy. Because we want to know. How's it going? Okay, next necklace. We're getting close to the end of this one. And then we'll check the time and see. Hang on. Whoops. I'm dropping bits. Can't tell if it's broken or if it's meant to be this way. I think... I have no idea. Oh, it's more than one piece. That's why. <laughs> All right. So here we go. Uh, this also looks like a little surfer girl necklace. This will go into a lot. I want to. I want to get these apart. I think it's broken. Yeah, it's broken. All right. So here is the back of the necklace. It looks like it would be pretty. Let me see if I can fix it. it might be easy to fix. Hang on. Yeah, it'll be. So it has these cylindrical beads that are. I mean, they're plastic, but they're kind of like bone colored and then turquoise colored. And it's long, like so. Oh, and there's some kind of light blue turquoise colors up there. Sea foam, if you will. So that might be something I fix, possibly. I mean, I don't think it'll bring in a ton, but I don't know. <laughs> Thanks. That'd be like wearing bar, bar, bar. And Spolia says, yep, <laughs> with those spikes. Oh, my eye itches. Okay. And then we've got these, they're kind of heavy, but they look like lanterns to me. They look like lanterns with a black light in them. 
So those earrings, and I'm looking to see if there's a mark on them, a maker's mark or anything. I don't see one just with the naked eye. Um, I'm trying to decide if I would sell these by themselves or not. Probably not. These will probably end up in a lot. The only thing that makes them feel special to me is how heavy they are. Maybe someone likes a heavy earring because these are kind of heavy for earrings as far as earrings go. Now there are some bits. Oh, here's the matching matching earrings for that necklace. We're there. And oh, these look like they match the little angel necklace. How nice of them to put those together. There is a little black dainty necklace. But these are those harlequins uh, cut, like cut beads. Like was it, was it the color that was harlequin or the cut of the beads? I think it was the, not the cut of the beads. What is this cut called now? I'm thinking. I can't think of what it's called. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Brenda says, is it wrong to call in sick and stay and watch YouTube all day? I wish I could. I kind of did yesterday, but I watched HBO. I never get to watch TV. I laid, I sat in the recliner and watched, oh, except for when we did our merch show. Okay, here are the, the piano. This is the reason I bought the jar. These cufflinks, which, let's see if I see any maker's mark on them. I do not. So, but sometimes with cufflinks, they mark one and not the other. Why? I don't know. Um, so there we go. These cufflinks will probably go up in the $17.99 range. They might do more depending on if I see other grand piano cufflinks out there. So those are cool. And let me check how long we've been going because I do have another jar, but I don't want to go forever. We are at about 30 minutes. Hmm, I guess we could do it. What do you think? You guys down? Okay, let's do it. Uh, let me check and see if my dad left a message. Nope, he didn't. He called a second ago. All right, so let's do it. Okay, and as I'm opening this jar, wait, let's see why I bought this jar. This may have been one of those that I was like, I just need a jar. I think it may have been this cool necklace here that it's got this cage and then it's got like this druzy, sparkly black stone in there so let me pop it open I'm gonna do it no no you have a sick of work <laughs> like last 24 hours that's right keep going okay will do okay while I'm opening this if you are in the Gulf Coast region stay safe because we do have a tropical storm coming that what they're saying is going to increase into a hurricane possibly into a hurricane all right so I'm dumping this one over here Randy is staying home. Hang on, let me dump this and I'll talk to you. Dumping. There now. Okay, empty. Yeah, Randy's going to stay home with the cats. My dad's staying home. I'm going to take the kids up to my sister. So you might be getting some, uh, you might be getting some sister videos coming up. Okay, this bracelet, I will, I will most likely clean it up because yeah, it's a bit dirty on the back. But that won't take much to clean up. And I think it's really cool. I think somebody's going to love that. Especially since I've seen a lot of stuff about the 80s. And it's that neon. I'm a child of the 80s. Anyway. Um, so 85 mile an hour winds. Oh, it's a hurricane now? Oh, my goodness. Right? It, it's quick. And it hasn't even made... So it could get even stronger. So I'm out. We stayed... Okay, hurricane talk for just a minute. We stayed for, well, we left when there was a hurricane that didn't hit, and we stayed on the road forever. Then we stayed for the next hurricane, which we were like, oh, it's just a Category 2. Oh, my gosh. I, I was up all night terrified. I was horrified. Yeah, so I told Randy, like, mm, if it's a tropical storm, maybe we'll stay. But, man, if it turns into a hurricane, I am out of here. Why stay, right? I can go hang out with my sister. So, Okay. Uh, so here's New York and Company bracelet. It's in pretty good shape. I mean, it's hot pink, like so. It doesn't look too worn at all. So I will probably try to sell that. Maybe not for a ton. But you can get um, batteries, watch batteries, at the Dollar Tree. Rose is the one, I think, that shared that with me. So, oh, yeah. It looks like it'll hit Corpus or south of there. And that's where my brother lives. One of my brothers lives down there. And I think they're hanging out. They're staying. So here we've got this plastic uh, bracelet. Oh, yes, yes, we'll be safe. It's they're, they're saying that the flooding is what they're more worried about. So here's this bracelet. I think I have one similar to this up, but I'm looking to see if it's missing any 
stones, and I don't see any missing. If it's not missing any stones, then I will sell this, because I think it's really pretty. I do. Okay, next. <laughs> oh, it's a, oh, it is a watch. Okay, so there's this watch that's got all of these pink um, kind of rivets on it. Rivet, rivet. And I don't know what brand it is. I'm looking, I don't see a brand. So this will, chances are very highly likely this will end up in a lot for sure. Now, we're trying to make the 14 bucks back on this. So far, we've got two bracelets. This will probably go up for $14.99. This one, maybe about the same, $14.99. So, oh, you like that one? Which one, the orange one? Or the one with the pink, this one that's a watch? Let me know. <laughs> All right, next, next. Oh, okay. Oh, you're stuck. Oh, dear. Oh, no, you're not. You're part of this necklace, I think. So here we have a big blue flower, which is super pretty, and lots of beads and chains, and then a ribbon. So I think the ribbon was tied to this side, yep, yeah, to create the necklace, like so. Um, I could get a new ribbon, or I could sell it in a lot, which is probably what I'll do, because it looks like it's missing some of the stones down here. So this will probably end up in a lot. Oh, bring me some coffee, Brenda. <laughs> um, full of, full of wind. I get watch batteries from China. It takes 30 days to get here, but five, but are five for a buck. Oh, okay, cool. That's good. So there's this. And this will probably go in a lot. And I'm always looking for things that are real bright and blingy to draw in the eye when you take the picture for the lot. So that's really bright and blingy that might draw in somebody's eye. So look at your lot. That's a tip there. And then, ooh, I don't know if that's going to clean up. So here we've got a butterfly. It looks like it was, you know, the silver coating on it's already rubbing off. So unless it cleans off, which I kind of doubt, maybe. Maybe it's just something on there. We'll see. Um, it's a brooch, but also a pendant on the back, like that. So, hmm. I saw somebody, who was it? Somebody in the group just bought a lot that was all owl stuff. So I could put, like, find flowers and butterflies that are kind of worn or messed up or something and create a lot of that kind of stuff. Flowers and butterflies and bugs and things like that to make a lot um, of things that I wasn't planning on selling solo, you know. We've got the Barbie ring. <laughs> and then here is this piece, which was one of the reasons I bought it, which is now seeming, what is it? Hang on something caught on it. Let me get this off. Hang on. There. Okay, so here's this piece that I thought was super cool. And it is a necklace. I'm trying to figure out how. Okay, that's, it's really small. Look how tiny that neck is. Oh, here we go again with the neck. I mean, that would, I mean, I guess it's like a choker. Oh, no, that looks weird. But somebody else might have a much smaller neck than me. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to sell that because it's so unusual and so cool. It's like caged, sparkly thing. Yeah, very cool. So I will sell that. For, I mean, depending on what I see out there, it'll probably go $17.99 or, or more. But I don't see a maker's mark on it. Yeah, it's really cool. Cool, cool. And here we've got another plasticky ring. Um, and I do have a lot going that's like a little girl jewelry lot, so it sounds very, Marcy says it sounds very bad. Are you talking about the um, the hurricane stuff? I'm not sure. Yeah. Is it druzy? I, I always say that when it's sparkly like that, but I, I'm not always sure it's right. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, so, oops, there goes one. So, this is... An earring, but the mate the mate's missing the stone for it. So that will also go into a lot. Got a bottle opener. May need that. <laughs> During hurricane, I'm kidding. Um so here we have a brooch, which will end up in a lot as well. I don't know what's going on with those antlers. They're really small. <laughs> okay, going through the rest of this stuff. I think I have this bracelet too. Druzy? Druzy's like that. I don't think that's Druzy though, because Druzy's like the glittery, isn't that right? It's like that like glittery. I don't know at all. I wish I did, but I don't. And here we have, it looks like a 
a band necklace. Uh, so it's got a pick. It says, don't conform, be transformed. And it says, I think that says Barlow Girl. Barlow Girl, which I don't know if that's a band or not, but or maybe it's a brand of clothing. So there's that. I'll have to look that one up. But it may have a following. I don't know. Then we've got these earrings, which are, hang on. They're tangled. Oh, well, I'll have to dig them out in a second. But they're right there. I will sell these. This has this Rivoli-style cabochon on there. Pretty cool. And I don't see a maker's mark, but I will sell those. Oh, now, of course, they come apart when I'm not trying. <laughs> so there are those earrings. I'll sell those. Probably $12.99 or so, like something in that range. Let's see. Do you sell the jewelry leftovers and lots on eBay or Etsy? I have them up on both. Um, because on, on Etsy you can sell craft lots, like if it, if it's for making crafts or if it's vintage. All right, here's another bracelet. I might sell this. I mean, there are some people that are wild for cheetah print. So here's this cheetah print stretch bracelet. Yeah, it's not my style, but I know there are people that really like cheetah print. Okay, I was hoping. Oh, I was hoping. Okay, I saw this just now, and I was... I flipped it over because this is for Texas Tech, which is a college here. And I was really hoping to flip it over and see that James Avery uh, logo, but no. Darn. Um, that would have been awesome because that would have been easy, like 30 bucks. So there we go. Barlow Girl was so 2010. What was it? <laughs> um, I'm not sure about this. It'll probably end up in a lot, the Texas Tech charm. Then we've got this really pretty rose gold watch. And actually, some spare links that go to it are there as well. Let's see if we can find a brand name on this. I am looking on the back. I don't see a brand name on the front. Um, I don't know. It's in really good shape, so I may go ahead and try to sell it. There are some people, like my mom loves rose gold. That's, that's her thing. She loves rose gold. She may want this watch, so maybe I'll show it to her. I have, I have to show her my, well, I don't have to, but I show her all the amber I get because she loves amber. So, <laughs> Tammy Talks says, I thought the same thing about Barlow Girl being so 2010. <laughs> all right, so another plastic ring. Then we have, let's see, this is one of the earrings. Let me wait and see if I see the other before I show it to you. All right, we've got a big pink ring like so. This is... Not silver, I don't think at all. I'm seeing a lot of like gunk on the inside, but I don't see any marks, makers marks. But I mean, just look at it. Kaboom! It's huge. But somebody might really like really big. Do we look at the Keflins? Yeah, we did the um the piano ones. Yeah, we looked at them. Were you gone? Did you get your coffee? They were like grand pianos. I'm gonna look them up. I'm gonna look them up. Okay, so then we have this really long. Oh wait, there's the, the clasp for it. Okay, there we go. I'm looking for the other end. Here it is. Okay, so we've, maybe this is the end. Oh heavens, I don't know. Where is the other end? All right, so this is a really long necklace that has another end somewhere. And I will probably sell this. It's got these navy plastic beads. Um, I, I like the look of it. It's not necessarily something I would wear, but I like it. So that will probably go up. Probably in the $10, $12, $15 range. This is for a local football, high school football. Apparently in Oilers. That's the next town over. <laughs> then we have these. Are they clip-on? No, they're not. So those will end up on a lot, these earrings. I think we did okay to make our money back, though, at least already. Oh, I see something pretty. This is a brooch right here. So it's like one of these that you would wear on your collar, maybe, that has a... A cherub hanging from it. So let's see if I see any maker's marks. I do not see any maker's marks on it, unfortunately. But I will probably, I don't know, I think this could go up for $17.99. Like there. Okay, so, like so. And I'm pulling out another piece. It's tangled, of course. Sometimes I'll go through and detangle before I show you, but I didn't this time. I just thought I'd dump and go. If I can't get these untangled in like two seconds, 
We're just gonna leave it. So I think this is a belt. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is a belt. So it's got this piece, it's tangled a bit, but it's a nice heavy chain. I mean, I think it would be a good, like minimalist type, people that wear this kind of belt. I think that'll go pretty well. So I'm guessing, I haven't sold anything like this. So I, I'm totally guessing I would put it up for about 15 bucks. 12, 12 99, 15 bucks, somewhere in that range. And then this heavy chain, also not silver. It looks like it used to be plated. You can kind of see the gold plating that's rubbed off on it. And I think I've had this before. I think I've I put it in a lot. It's a horseshoe. I I really recognize this and can't place it, but it looks really familiar. Is anyone's chat way behind the content? I don't know. Oh, try refreshing, Marcy. Okay, then we're almost done. We're doing really well on our jewelry jar. So we've got this really heavy link chain, which I I'm probably gonna put in a lot just because it looks kind of like grungy. It looks like some of the coating has come off of it a bit. That's okay. And I I don't even know what to make of this. Oh, I think it used to be a necklace that broke. So this will go into a craft lot as well. We are, yeah, there's a few little bits here that don't have mate. Well, this is a bracelet. This is an earring that doesn't have a mate. This is a really nice earring, hang on, that I wish had a mate. It's got this hammered gold look. What I'll do though um, is check some of my other jars because sometimes it will, the mate could be in another jar. I'm, I'm checking just because. I'm going to look at it. So I'm looking at it because it's gold all the way and, and because. <laughs> um, it's not magnetic. So I'm looking to see if I see any marks and to see any wear. So if there's going to be wear like on a, on something that's plated, it's going to be in the area that gets rubbed a lot, like if it's links, the areas that rub, rub together. Um, so I'm looking to see, I, I kind of see some wear, so I don't think, yeah, there, it looks like the plating is kind of peeling off when you look at it with the loop. So that's that. This is another earring that the mate wasn't there, which is kind of, it would have been cool because this is the front, and then the back of the earring has another chain to hang down behind. So that's kind of neat. And finally, we have, <gasps> shut up. I don't normally say shut up. What did I just talk about? Okay, so this is a solo earring, but it is James Avery. So if you can see right there, there's the James Avery candelabra and it says 14K. So that means that this earring, yep. So we have got this sterling silver and 14 karat gold James Avery earring. That will certainly make my money back. Oh, how I wish the mate was there. Now I'm going to go wait. I set this aside. I'm going to look through my other jars or peek at them. So there we go. You can see that in there. Yay. Okay. Of course, it's the last thing pretty much that is there. Well, here's this E little charm bracelet. I think that's everything. There's a little angel charm too. Can you see that? Okay. All right. So overall, I think we did pretty well. Tammy says, yeah, it will sell by itself. It totally will, because somebody will have lost their earring. How funny that it's like at the bottom. But uh, hey, I'll take it, right? So there's that awesomeness right there. Okay, so our jewelry jar is worth it. I give them the thumbs up. As long as you find something in the jar before you buy it, that will make your money back. And if you find anything else on top of that, it's all just extra, extra money or cool stuff that you can find or keep for yourself. So if you are interested in seeing more jewelry jars openings or jewelry hauls or learning more about jewelry hit that subscribe button and the little bell to be notified when i go live and also i really want to know if you guys are watching later let me know what your experiences are buying jewelry jars or jewelry lots whether you found them you haven't found them um and uh, let me know how it's going for you guys so Fola says you have a bunch of cufflinks i could use a pair of them i do have a bunch of cufflinks just let me know what you need because I have a lot that I haven't listed yet. So, yeah, I'm your girl. <laughs> All right, thanks so much, everybody, for coming over. If you are interested, definitely check out my jewelry group, Jewelry Lovers and Sellers. Lots of information. We have a lot of fun getting to know each other as well. And 
yeah all right so thanks so much you guys hit the thumbs up and i'll talk to you later bye everyone